Well, everybody, we are back in Minecraft, but not in the way you think. This is Minecraft Dungeons. Good day, everyone. I'm the Hobbit, and it's finally out. Minecraft Dungeons is out. I'm excited for this. I've been waiting for this for a while now, and honestly, I'm just excited to get straight into this game. Oh. It was a time of great adventure and danger. Illager. Shunned by his kin, an Illager wanders the land, seeking a new home. But all he found was hatred. Driven by rage against those who wronged him, he wandered blind to whatever end. Until at long last, the Illager found something. That would change him forever. What's it gonna be? The Orb of Dominance. Ooh. I wonder what those endermen sounds. Corrupted by evil, driven by vengeance, the Arch Illager made all bow before him. And I guess it's our job to stop him. Bow, they would fall. The Illagers raided the land. Who would have the valor, the purity of heart, to stand against the Arch Illagers' reign of terror? Me! That's me! Well, not that one. Okay, so maybe that's not me, me but... You? Yes, me! Uh, yes, let's go! Oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so what's gonna are we gonna go for? I... Oh, I, I love that skin. So I actually bought the sort of extended version of the game with the DLC. But I really love that skin. So we're definitely gonna go for that one. Alright, so we might as well just get straight into it. Let's begin. Start game. The village is burning. Is it? Oh no. No doubt this is the work of the evil Arch Illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. I suppose it's our job to stop them. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. I definitely will. We will do this. We will save the village. So, let's see, so let, I have no idea how to play this game, so, ah, okay, so it's a sort of a click, which is fine for me, I mean, I, I, I actually like this, these type of games, so what is this, okay, okay, so it's just clicking on enemies, that's actually quite a nice control scheme, I mean, simple, that works, so sword of effect, close combat, easy to defeat the zombie, there we go, I'll grab the emerald if I can, Hello, zombies. Where are you? I wanted to slash you. Oh, nice. There's definitely some sort of combo system. Uh, can I explore up here? Oh, I can. Secrets? Hello, secrets? Are you there? No, no secrets. Okay. Ah, so... Let's see. So, right-click by the looks of things is... Okay, so right-click is our bow. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, is there anything down here, or is this the way to go? Because I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it doesn't look like it, so we might as well just keep going. Hi, yep. Taking care of many a zombie. And getting a lot of emeralds in the process, I think. Because I'm not really sure what the emeralds are used for. I imagine something good later. Which is gonna run out to enemies. I can slash them. Just so we can get through this. Oh, okay. Okay, so I think for religious, we might want to take them at range a little bit first. Ah, chest, chest, hello. Loot. Okay, so we've got some bread. Oh, that's useful. So, food by the looks of things is regen. Looks like we also have health potions. Which we can use in a pinch. But I kind of don't want to use them in a pinch just yet. Because, like, so far, this is already quite fun. Beautiful design for the levels, but it looks things so far. Uh, uh, hello. 
So I have the ambush. Ah! Oh. Was that the ambush? Oh no, there's more. Okay. Uh, yeah, we did it. Hey, and we leveled up too. Right. Um, what do we do with that? Enchanting gives you an enchantment point, which you use to upgrade items. Uh, st stop attacking me, please. Oh, firework arrow. Oh, blimey, everything is happening at once. All right, let's open our inventory really quick. So we can right click and put this in the artifact area. So what does this do, I wonder? And then we can select something to enchant. I think we're going to enchant our sword. So what can we enchant with? Echo. What does it do? Sorry, attacks can be followed up with it. Yes, we're doing that for sure, probably. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be doing Echo. Because that is just awesome, the fact that you can do that. So we can use it whenever we want. So I, w I wonder what it's going to do for us. Uh, let's just use it on you, maybe. Whoa, okay. That's cool. So it's sort of like a ranged sort of explosion weapon. That is very handy. So I see a chest over here, but I'm not exactly sure how we're meant to... Okay, so we can press space to sort of do a roll, which is fantastic. We also have some TNT above our heads, which I'm not really sure what to do with it. Uh, can we throw it or something? I honestly don't know, but I'm not feeling very safe. The level designs here are just beautiful. It, like, I mean, it's incredible to see how much the developers put into this. Imagine Studios really outdid themselves. So what's this then? Oh, that's the end of the level. No! They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. Ah. Fantastic tutorial level though. That's really well done. So we get a chest by looks things at the end of this. I wonder what it's for. Are you gonna open? Yes, there you go. A fishing rod. Okay, so I wonder what that's gonna do. I I, I mean I imagine that's something cool. Oh we've got a whole camp area now. That's really cool. That's really cool sort of world design. All right, let's just put an artifact there. So I pause the closest mob in your range to your position, briefly stunning the enemy. That is going to be very handy, I feel. I mean, especially if like we're dealing with a lot of skeletons. So let's just let's just go into the next level. So the Creeper Woods. I wonder what we're going to find here. I, I see a lot of villagers there and a lot of villagers. And whatever that thing is, I don't know what that's going to be, but that's a little bit scary. By the Arch Illager's decree, all free folk are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Oh dear. Somewhere in these woods, a caravan is transporting villager prisoners to labor in far off lands. Find the caravan and stop the Illagers. Sounds like our no job. Telling what dreadful doom will befall our villager friends. Oh dear. We also have a baby chicken. I forgot to mention that. We're taking a baby chicken into battle. This might not be the smartest idea, but it might actually work. Okay, let's take care of these zombies. And let's just sort of move onwards. There are a lot of zombies here. Okay, we've got some food by the looks of things. We're just going to keep them going onwards. Oh, I, I love the fact how we can just sort of do lots of things. Oh, we got a strength potion. <gasps> that is going to be useful. That is going to be so useful, especially here. Because we can take out enemies a lot quicker. Nice. More feed as well. Ah, so it's sort of like a invisibility potion as well. There is so much cool stuff here. I'm already really getting the hang of the combat and it's a lot of fun. Smash that pot because we all love Zelda. No. Oh, we can swim. Or something similar to it anyway. Oh, that's useful. Did we hear a ghast or something? Uh, actually, this is the perfect time to try our fishing rod. Hey, yeah. Actually, that works pretty well. Nice. Let's just take care of all of these guys. 
Oh, we can actually charge the bow. That's actually quite handy, I think. Yeah, that's going to be really handy. I, I can already see how this is already going to get quite difficult very, very, very quickly the more we play this and the more we progress through levels. So I think we're going to help out this villager. We're actually going to drink a potion as well. There we go. So it looks like we've got a little bit more to explore and probably some more villagers to find. So let's just kill the skeleton. And see what we can find. Is this a sneaky area back here? It is a sneaky area back here. Is there going to be a chest? I very much hope so. Oh, there's a skeleton and another skeleton. So what are we going to find over here? I imagine, hopefully, loot. Ah, well, there's definitely an emerald pot. So let's just grab some of that. Let's grab some more arrows. Take care of you and you and you. Oh, you're a bit tougher. All right. Uh, what on earth is this? Oh. Okay. So definitely something here. What is this? Oh. New location. The creepy crypt. Oh, okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting a bunch of enemies to spawn. Okay, that is a lot of enemies. We're definitely taking that strength potion right now. And um, we're just going to take out all of these guys. Can. Hey, we get a chest as well. Okay, it's just a common sword. That's all right. I think we already had one. Uh, but I'm fine with that. So we're like in a full-on full, full -on dungeon now. Looks like we've got another common sword, but maybe it's a little better. I'm not really sure. So is this our sort of first dungeon, in a sense? I honestly have no idea, but I mean, I love this sort of aesthetic of the game. It's really, really cool. We're going to take that shadow potion, which is already gone, but oh well. So I wonder what else we'll find here, because I imagine we'll find a little bit more than just a single chest. It definitely looks like we're going, we can go around here, and there are a lot more zombies here. Not many skeletons here, which is alright for us. But... It does mean that we don't need to use arrows and stuff. I'm not going to go out just yet because it looks like there's a little bit more sort of up. So let's sort of see what's up here. Yes, I see a chest over there. We can do this. Come on. Just take care of all those enemies. Hey, we leveled up too. That's awesome. Feeling lost. I'm not really feeling lost just yet, uh, but I will open the map. Okay. Okay. It's good to know that we do have a map, though. That is very handy. Okay, another bow. It doesn't look like that these are any upgrades of our current equipment, but maybe we'll find something which is here. Or maybe we won't. This looks like it's about it. So we're just going to continue onwards, I think. But I'm so glad we found this area. I mean, we've already got a bunch of sort of stuff here, and we might as well level up our sort of enchantments if we can. Uh, it doesn't look like I can enchant that, but can we enchant this? So, a Radiant Shot has 20% chance to spawn in a circular area that hails allies within it. I don't think that's quite sort of me in a sense, but I think, yes, okay. That's going to be really handy, having an explosion shot. That's going to be very handy indeed, so we're definitely going to get that. So, back out of the dungeon, and we're immediately greeted with a bunch of skeletons. Just eat this apple so we can heal. It doesn't look like we missed too much then. There's definitely some skeletons over here, so, here though, so I will definitely, uh, I'll definitely take the experience. So, a bunch of zombies. Uh, let, let's use that. I still don't know what TNT does. It's quite difficult to sort of. Ah, okay, so right click to throw it and. Definitely want to move out of the way of that, because that is going to be quite painful to deal with, I think. So, hello sheep. How is it going? I have a feeling we're going the complete wrong way. Um, but I'm also interested to see if there's anything over here, because I don't know if we've been here before. Okay, so we definitely haven't been here before, but there's definitely something over here. So, we might as well quickly go check that out. Looks like we've got another dungeon. 
So we might as well hop into there, but I kind of want to just quickly peek down here. Maybe there's something on this. Maybe, but it doesn't look like it. So we are just going to hop in straight into this dungeon. And we're already treated with a bunch of mobs. Fantastic. Just how I like to like it. And some spiders, that's new. All right, let's just see if I can take out these spiders full range. Take out the skeleton too. Just heal up with the apple. Because we are a little bit on the low side. And I wonder what we'll find in this little dungeon. I mean, I'm hoping it'll be something very useful to us. It looks like there's another skeleton, so we're just going to take it of you. Okay, so it looks like there's something in here. It's just an emerald pot. That's fine with me. More emeralds for us. Although, I'm not exactly sure what we do with emeralds yet. Okay, you're a big illager. We're going to... We're going to run away from you, if we can. Uh, th 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 this might be a problem. We're just going to firework shot you guys. Ah, swiftness. This is going to be very handy. It allows us to get real up close to those enemies really quickly, even though we generally use our bow to shoot skeletons. I think for skeletons with armor, it's going to be a lot better if we just run up to them. So that looks like another sort of... More powerful urges, so we're just gonna shoot like that and then run up to you like this. Okay. We're doing good so far, I think. I don't know for sure. What are you? Uh, no, stop it. What were you doing? I didn't want you to do anything like that. Looks like we can go down here. I honestly have no idea what we're gonna find. Definitely some more mobs. Although I do hope it's gonna be something very, very useful to us got a shadow form which looks like we can use if we need to get out of there in a pinch but otherwise not as useful nothing over here but maybe there's something up here hopefully ah uh, yes I see another chest let's just take care of these enemies first okay nothing over here let's just slash down some zombies and hopefully Get something good out of this chest. What's it gonna be? It's just gonna be another bow. That's fine. I've got some more emeralds. I still have no idea what they're gonna be used for. But maybe they'll be used for something very nice in the future. Okay, back out into the world. And we're just gonna progress straight on to see if we can find the rest of those villagers. Because that is why we're here. We're just trying to find those villagers right now. I really love the fact that you can just dash in if you want to and hack and slash at them. Like, it sounds like such a simple thing, and it is, Hello, Creeper, I don't want to deal with you, so I'm just going to straight up just shoot an arrow at you, because I don't want to quite deal with you up close, I imagine. Although, now that I think about it, you might be able to use them as, like, Creeper Bombs. Let's just take care of these villagers. Oh, okay, that was not where I wanted to go. Okay, so we're running a little bit low on health. No, I didn't want to kill the sheep. Uh, so we're just going to take a potion, just because I don't particularly want to die. Okay. Uh, anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Hello, bats. Okay, taking care of all of those. I'm just going to take care of all of these in range. I mean, we've got plenty of arrows, so we should be fine. Looks like we're going to go up there, but there's a bunch of area down here which I want to explore first. So, why don't we just do that and maybe we'll find something cool. Okay, another shadow form. Let's just get over here, take care of you. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. Or maybe I did miss something, because it looks like we can go up a little bit further. I'm a completionist, guys. That's why I'm looking at all these areas, but honestly, the, this is so fun. Maybe this was the way we meant to go. It looks like this was actually the way we meant to go, which is quite lucky that it is the way we're meant to go, I suppose. Another strength potion, we're just going to pop that. Take care of all of these. And maybe we'll find something... So maybe we'll find something over here. Let's just take care of you. Uh, we will definitely take that pork. Again, like, the level designs of this place is amazing. Oh, okay. Hey, we found some supplies. We're definitely going to take that so maybe there's gonna be sort of like a boss battle section which is gonna smash these pots don't tell anyone but it does look like that maybe 
there is gonna be a boss battle soon. Hello, spider. I'm just gonna go over here and hopefully not die. Oh! So, looks like we got a new weapon. I, I don't know, maybe that'll be slower and maybe we won't be able to do as much damage, but maybe it'll be a lot nicer. So let's go just quickly take a look at this. So, it's definitely a melee weapon and we get a spin attack with it. Okay. So it does a lot more damage and I have a feeling it's going to be beneficial if we do do something with it. So, I, and okay. Um, so it's amazing that it doesn't pause outside. That is a good thing to note. Uh, that's a lot of spiders. So let's just go over here briefly. I just want to look at this a little bit more. So how do I spin attack? I honestly don't know. But it looks like there's a bunch of things. What's chain is doing? Okay, that's actually going to be quite handy. Thundering has a chance to summon a lightning strike, and smiting gives an increased damage against the internet. I think we're going to give this chains. Yeah, th that's going to work nicely, I think. So let's just go with this, because I'm very much sort of like an up close and personal kind of person. Oh, nice. So I think it's double click to sort of spin attack, which it's a good system for doing it. Very, very easy to do. Actually, I'm not too sure. It's a bit, I don't know. It, it's not entirely obvious what it is. Hello, pig. Oh, is, is that a new sword or is it just a regular sword? Okay, it looks like it's just a regular sword, but maybe we'll be able to use that for something. This definitely looks like it's a boss objective. So I imagine we might want to do this the sneaky way. Or are we just going to run in and just attack? I think we're just going to run in and attack because, let's just be honest, that's exactly what I like to do here. Uh, let's free this villager. Okay, that's villager number one down. Five more, well, four more to go. There's two. Let's just take care of these guys. I wonder what's down here. I mean, it's definitely off the path, but... Uh, that spin attack is going to come lots of, of lots of use. Definitely looks like there's more supplies, which we'll probably get afterwards, because maybe maybe there'll be another fight after this, but I'm not really sure. This definitely looks like it might be the last fight, but that chains is going to come really handy by the looks of things. Let's just free the third villager and take care of all of these. Swiftness potion, just so we can get in to attack them more. No, stop it. I don't want to know what you do yet. All right. One more villager to go, although I do see an uh, emerald pot here. I know it shouldn't really be our priority, but I think it should be as well. And with that, that should be the last villager. Right, all right. So, now it's just a matter of finding the exit. Hello, villagers. Uh, I don't particularly want to deal with you, but you are very fast and very dangerous by the looks of things. So we're just gonna smack you in the face with our axe. Uh, I have no idea what you're doing, so I don't wanna take care of, I just wanna take care of you quickly. Uh, so that looks like it's the way to go, but what's up here then? Uh, absolutely nothing. Alright, that's absolutely fine with me. So, it looks like we're getting close to the end of the level. Let's just take care of these skeletons. I'm really getting the hang of the combat. I'm sorry, cow, I didn't mean to smack you in the face with my axe, but it, it just kind of happened. Let's grab this pot, which we probably shouldn't be doing in the middle of combat, but I'm, I think we're alright to do that. Uh, nothing over here, so let's just take out this skeleton here uh, and that one there. It looks like there's something down here, which might be just some more treasure, maybe? Any treasure? Hello? Maybe not. Is there any way I can rotate the camera? It doesn't look like it, which is a little bit unfortunate, but... Uh, I think we're fine to do with that. Let's just take care of that skeleton. Eat the apple just so we can regen that health we just lost. I keep hearing these weird sounds. Which don't quite sound like zombies, but sound pretty close to them. So maybe... Maybe there's something that we're going to need to expect. Because it might not be fun if we need to deal with some sort of giant big monster. There's definitely another villager up here. But it looks like there's definitely some... Maybe there's something over here. Ah, well, there's more emeralds. Let's just grab those. Even though I have no idea what they're used for yet. And imagine 
they're going to be used for something to do with a shop. Who knows? Escape Creeper Woods. Oh, the level design is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Hello, Creeper. Uh, let's just do with those. Okay. No, Creeper. Let's not do that. Just take care of all these skeletons. Excellent. Is that it? I imagine there'd be more, but maybe not. Maybe this is the end? Yes! These villages are free from the clasp of the illegitimate. We did it! All thanks to you. We did it, guys. Oh, excellent. So, what's going to be in this chest? Oh, neat beads. Right, that's going to be definitely very handy, I think. So, let's just equip those. Uh, but it looks like they go in the artifact slot, right? So, it looks like we get a boost of speed. Yeah, we do. Oh, that's going to be handy. So, it's, it's, it's quite a short boost, but it's pretty good nonetheless. Ah, hello. So, it looks like there's a chest over here for some reason. Oh, nice! Three emeralds. So, hello, blacksmith. What do you do? Ra get a random piece of gear appropriate for your level. Sure, I mean, we've got some emeralds. So, let's just... Ooh, okay. So, we got a new bow. Let's just quickly equip that. And I think... We can enchant this? We can. So, rapid fire gives us increased attack speed. And multi-shot gives us a chance to fire five arrows. I think multi sh I, I think multi shot isn't the way to go for this and actually rapid fire because I'm I'm pretty good with accurate aiming but of course we don't have enough levels to open that up yet so what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna end this episode here so I'd like to thank you all for watching this very first episode of Minecraft Dungeons if you want me to play this even more please consider letting me know that you enjoyed the video because I am more than happy to continue this game I'm having a lot of fun with this and frankly I hope you're enjoying watching this. Anyway, if you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel. It's completely free and you're free to unsubscribe at any time, but you get to know when I upload. And apart from that, all I have left to say is see ya, take care, and bye bye